Quarantiners. Today is Wednesday, July 8th. Yesterday's episode was like a double cliffhanger, huh? Hovey 3 is not exactly making things easy. First, she disappeared, then she reappeared, then she took off for the Whittier Gate, and then, well, we'll get to that in a minute. You may have noticed that this episode is long. Like, super long. That's because if you keep listening at the end of the show today, there's a special bonus. The producers are going to let you hear episode one of Gen Z Media's newest show, The Weirdness. It's really funny and crazy. Kind of like Remy's Life Interrupted, only even crazier. But first, shout outs. Happy belated birthday to Prith Viraj. Maggie in Portland turned 11 yesterday. Christian wanted to wish his stepbrother Gabriel and friend Heidi a happy birthday. Salome turned nine and Kylie celebrated her half birthday. Does that really count? Shout out to her little brother Ezra and to Mia Quattromani. Your cousins love you. Happy ninth birthday to Evan and Ilana from Olivia. Happy birthday to Oliver from Oakland, California, and shout out to his awesome friend, Sophia. And happy birthday, Olivia from Melbourne, Australia, who also turned nine today. Okay, back to that double cliffhanger from the end of yesterday's episode. As I'm sure you remember, my good pal, Hubby Three, was sitting very nicely. After I shut her down. After Alex shut her down. Temporarily. Temporarily. And then... And then I got an alert that something had come through the gate. You skipped a step. Oh, right. And then Hovey 3 sprang to life and flew for the window. And then... And then I got an alert that someone had come through the Whittier gate. Although, technically, I can't say for sure that they didn't happen simultaneously. And now that I think of it, I'm pretty sure that Hovey 3 was triggered by whatever came through the Whittier gate. And do we want to tell them what came through the gate? Wouldn't you rather just let them hear it? You were recording, right? I'm always recording. I know. We need to talk about that. When someone is on the porch trying to have a private conversation... I thought it might be mystery related! No, you were spying on me because I was talking to a girl and... Can we get back to the recording? You brought it up. Whatever. Let me set the scene. Hovey 3 takes off. I get the alert, but I can't see what came through because something is blocking the camera. And then... And then... Insert phone call recording here. Oh, right. Insert phone call recording here. You can't tell what came through? The camera's still blocked. Unknown number. Hello? Hang on. Okay, go ahead. Is this Alexander? Of course it's Alex. Are you calling about the hoverboard? How did you know that, young man? Wild guess. Alex, is he acting weird? It's Gabriel Augustine. When is he not acting weird? Excellent point. What phone are you calling from? It's my mobile. Stop asking me questions. Okay, it's just that... Wait a second. Where are you? I said, stop asking me questions. What does it mean to you when I say, peace, love, and oboes? You always spew this much nonsense, Alex. You're not you. You mean... You're not Gabriel Augustine. Not the one from over here. Well, technically... Oh, right. You were the one from over here. Now you're the one from over there. And you're what came through the gate, aren't you? He's in the tunnel? The guy who runs Whittier Corp? So, you know about me, do ya? We know you got switched when you were a kid, and we know about Whittier Corp. Sounds like the other version of me has loose lips. I wouldn't say that. Listen, Mr. Augustine- Dr. Augustine. Dr. Augustine? Are you the reason the hoverboard started to- Yeah, you stay here. Wait for further instructions. No, not yet. Who are you talking to? Don't you worry about it. You didn't come alone. I brought a couple of my associates with me. Just in case. Associates? 
Alex, child catchers! That's an insulting term, young lady. They don't appreciate it, and neither do I. Yeah, well, we don't appreciate you popping over into our tunnel or sending helicopters or- That's enough. I came through for a reason. I think you already know that Holiday is loose in your world. So? So this is not some cute kitty podcast. Excuse me? Six minutes is not Holiday a- Holiday is no ordinary girl. In fact, before she was a girl- She was a weapon? I was going to say asset, but yours works too. It's dangerous for her to be there. I'm trying to protect you. Why do I doubt that? Looks like we're going to have to do this the hard way, boys. What does that mean? We don't want you in our house. Yeah, well, you should have thought of that before. What's that? What's happening? The gate. It's unstable. We've got to go back through. No, I am not getting stuck here. That is not happening to me again. You remember what I said. They're gone. What happened? What's going on with the gate? Gee, I wonder. RJ? Lex and I did some science on the gate. You're welcome. Oh, and I have something for you. Keep an eye out for it. Yep, so RJ saved the day. And now we're waiting for whatever she's sending through the gate. I'll let you know if we get it. Tomorrow. Until then, I'm Remy, and this is my life interrupted. And now, like I promised, the producers are going to let you hear an awesome new podcast from Gen Z Media. It's called The Weirdness, and it's about these two kids, Sierra and Arlo, who host a podcast about crazy creatures like Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster, and then they find out if they might all be real. It's super funny and has voices you might recognize from other Gen Z shows like The Big Fib and Six Minutes and maybe even Rummy's Life Interrupted. Alex? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, because they ask you to do that thing. Yes, I know, Remy. I was being mysterious. Oh, right. Anyway, the weirdness is really funny. Did I say that already? You can listen to the first episode right here and then subscribe for the rest of the season. Stay weird, Alex. Stay weird, Remy. I mean, always happens when I venture into the world of man. So dirty out there. Did find a half-eaten burrito in the dumpster, though. (laughs) Win! Okay, uh, what? Oh, right, uh, new episode of The Weirdness. Let's see if Arlo got the package I left for him. Play Weirdness Podcast. Playing Weirdness Podcast. Episode 84, Jersey Devil Disappearance. Welcome to The Weirdness. A podcast about cryptids, creatures, and unexplained phenomena. I'm Arlo, and what you're about to hear will change everything. Well, guess that's a yes. Today, I received a shocking recording left on my porch by an anonymous source. Listen at your own risk. Okay, my phone's recording. Um, this is Max Williamson. I'm here with Cole Rogers and my sister Nadia. We're out here in the New Jersey Pine Barrens following up on a supposed sighting of the mythical Jersey Devil. I say mythical because the Jersey Devil does not exist no matter what Cole says. They say he has cloven hooves, claws for hands, and wings like a bat. Here we go. He stalks quietly through the woods, seeking out his prey. Then he takes off in a flash, using two horns as sharp as knives to impale his victims. Stab! Stab! (laughs) Sick. Whatever. It's just an urban legend, and we're out here to prove it. And when he attacks, 
he lets out a high-pitched screech, so loud and so shrill, it makes your ears bleed. Did you see that? What? What, 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 is, what was that thing? Okay, time to go. I'm calling Mom. Dude, there's no signal out here. Cole, you should check it out. I'm not checking it out. Let's all go. Safety in numbers, guys. I'm not going. I'm staying right here. I'll go with you. That thing can't eat us both, right? <laughs> hey, you guys, don't leave me here alone. <sighs> Fine, I'm coming. Why is it suddenly so cold? Look, see that shadow by the lake? It's really him, the Jersey Devil! And he's not alone! The Jersey Devil's not after us. Something's after him. W what is that other thing? It's huge! Poor guy. Okay, uh, JDev, this is for you. Time to make contact with the humans. As soon as I eat this burrito. The weirdness. Bigfoot, notable alias, Sasquatch. I'm going up the road and all of a sudden these whatever run past the front of my headlights on my truck. The weirdness. Locals think the creepy white corpse is the chupacop, but it's difficult to make a positive identification. The weirdness. The sightings of a watery monster in upstate New York's Lake Champlain have gone on for decades. The weirdness. These are people who say they've seen something unusual, now something with a large head, something with a hump, some sort of unusual life that shouldn't be there. The weirdness. What you just heard was a recording made last week in the Pine Barrens of New Jersey and sent to me by an anonymous source to play on my podcast. It is proof not only of the existence of the legendary Jersey Devil, but of another creature even more terrifying. I'm Arlo. Welcome to The Weirdness, a podcast about cryptids, creatures, and unexplained phenomena. As always, I'm joined by my producer, Sierra, who I predict is about to tell me the recording is a fake. No, Arlo. As a matter of fact, I'm not. You're not? So, you believe it's legit? Of course not. But I'll leave that for today's guest on the Weirdness Hotline. <sighs> right. Our guest today, calling in all the way from Ireland, university professor and hopeless skeptic, Dr. Melanie Messing. Dr. Messing, welcome back to the Weirdness. Thanks for having me back, Arlo. So, you heard that recording. What do you believe that creature was that took the Jersey Devil? <laughs> Sorry to disappoint, Arno, but the whole thing was a fraud. An elaborate fakery. Sound effects, actors. The only Jersey Devils I know play hockey. And as that other thing sounded to me like a T-Rex mixed with a dishwasher. Come, Arlo, you're smarter than this. I don't think he is, Dr. Messing. Thank you, Sierra. Look, Arlo, maybe it's... Melanie? Oh, looks like we lost the connection. Arlo? Arlo, buddy, you down there? Dad, we're in the middle of recording the podcast. <laughs> yeah, he's busy hanging up on his guests. Oh, sorry. Hey, Sierra. Hey, Mr. Lowry. Right. Uh, just wanted to tell you they called me back into the office. But it's Saturday. We were going to see a movie tonight. Well, we might have to wait till that one starts streaming in a few months. Sorry, but here's some money to order a pizza. 
I'll call it bedtime to say goodnight. Bye, sport. Bye, Dad. Sorry, Arlo. I didn't want to see that movie anyway. That's the weirdness tip line. Probably Dr. Messing again. Put it on speaker so I can record it. Hello? Weirdness tip hotline? Hello? <coughs> uh, the, the creep is coming. Spread the word. I'm sorry? The creep. Uh, t- tell them about the creep. Um, okay. Who is this? I'm, uh, I'm nobody. I'm nothing. Uh, who, uh, why does this even matter who I am? I would just, it doesn't matter. I want to know who I'm talking to so I know if you're for real. Okay, fine. Uh, they call me Beef. I'm the one who sent the recording of JDev. JDev? You mean the Jersey Devil? That's, yeah, that's what I said. Listen, I know you're a human. I know you're a young person, but maybe you can help. Help with what? I'm not the only one who listens to the pod. Beef, this is Sierra. How did you get this so-called recording? You know what? I, I gotta go. Uh, this was this was a mistake. Beef, you messed up big time. Wait, Beef, you sound scared. Tell us where you are. Maybe we can help. I've said too much. Leave me alone. Stop calling me. But you called me. Beef? Beef? We lost him. Maybe not. I know I'm going to regret this, but while you were on the line with him, I used that tracking app to triangulate his cell signal. I can narrow it down to the nearest towers. Look. That's only a few miles from here. I'll go get the bikes. I was afraid you were going to say that. Look, Arlo, this guy could be a real kook. You think I'm a real kook? Yeah, but you're my kook. I am not going into the woods to track down some tinfoil hat-wearing, podcast-calling, conspiracy-spouting weirdo named Beef who thinks he's friends with the Jersey Devil. Are you done? Did I mention his name is Beef? Yes. Then I'm done. Okay. We're still going, aren't we? Yes, but it was an excellent speech. Very passionate. Almost there. Make a left. (sighs) You still haven't explained what you think we're going to do when we find this... beef. We're going to figure out who he is and where he got that recording. Uh, You really believe that was actual audio? That some enormous monster kidnapped another smaller monster in New Jersey of all places? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds silly. Uh, It is silly, Arlo. Nothing silly about mysterious disappearances. I've studied and mapped out these kind of events all over the world, and... You of all people, don't. Don't what? Please, don't bring up my dad again. Sierra. He left, Arlo. That's all there is to it. But what if there's more? The note said he was going to sail the world, right? And you got a postcard from Bermuda. Arlo. As in Bermuda Triangle. Stop. And I dug up reports, reports of people saying they saw a sea monster. If his boat was attacked. Just stop. There's no such thing as sea monsters, or Jersey Devils, or weirdness. Let's see if our pal Beef agrees. Look, the building through the trees. This must be his place. Come on! Pretty overgrown. Pixel Town? What is it? I've heard about this place. My dad says it was the coolest arcade around when he was our age. And now it's the creepiest. It looks like where the 1980s came to die. Hey, where did you learn to pick locks? Duh, you two. I'm in. Arlo, wait. Should we be doing this? We don't know who or what might be in here. It's just Beef. He seems like a nice guy. For a kook. Beef? You in here? Beef? I don't like this place. Me neither. All these lame 8-bit graphics. Our parents had it rough. (laughs) What's that smell? Arlo, I hear something. Shh! Listen. Maybe we should get out of here. Someone's coming.
Hey, it's Arlo, host of The Weirdness. Social networking isn't just for humans anymore. Now, there's Weirdbook, the meetup app exclusively for those in the unexplained phenomena community. Whether you live deep in the woods, under the ocean, or in a magical alternate dimension, you don't have to be alone anymore. Log on to Weirdbook on Echolocation Channel 42XZ Triangle. Weirdbook, how weirds connect. Why did he run away? Is he scared of us? Is it me? Or was he huge? Beef, is that you? I can see your shadow hiding behind the frogger. Arlo? Yeah, it's me. And Sierra. Come on out. It's okay, we just want to talk. Talk about what? About the recording. About your friend, Jadev. Okay, uh, okay, I just want to say that my good shirt is in the wash, and I really should have trimmed my shoulder hair, and, uh, and my knuckle hair. Okay, uh, fine. <gasps> Arlo, he's... he's... Bigfoot? Well, yeah, I mean, if, if you want to be formal, Bigfoot. BF, beef, beef daddy. You're a Sasquatch! The Sasquatch, sadly. Last of a dying breed, thanks to you humans. No, this is a joke. It's a costume, right? Ow! Uh, Hey, uh, don't pull on the fur, man. That hurts. It's real? You're real? You know that's insulting, right? I knew it! I knew Bigfoot was real! Everyone told me I was crazy! Yeah, yeah, congrats. Uh, Now you can go away. Shoot, go on. Go away? I've waited my whole life for this. Bigfoot is real, and he lives in an abandoned arcade, and he talks and he wears dirty clothes. Yeah, uh, thanks for the recap. Uh, Goodbye, humans. You never saw me. Erase this from your memory, or we're all gonna be dead. Wait, you called me. You sent the recording. Yeah, but I didn't think you'd show up at my door, dude. Then why did you reach out? I can't believe I'm talking to Bigfoot. (laughs) You and me both, sister. Look. The recording came to me, and I thought you could warn the others. Others? You mean other cryptids? They're real too? Well, I mean, I mean, the ones I know are, you know, uh, J-Dev, Choop, Nessie. Nessie? You're friends with the Loch Ness Monster? Uh, weird book friends. She's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, Little Vane, though, posts a lot of selfies. I know what she looks like, don't need to see all those pictures. It's ironic for a reclusive monster. Is that weird book on the Frogger screen? It makes no sense to me. Of course it doesn't make sense to you. You're a human. Hello? We weirds use echolocation to communicate? Echolocation? Like bats? Tell me what else is real. Leprechauns? Yetis? Mermaids? Dude, what do I look like? Weird Google? Ooh, what about unicorns? (sighs) Of course you'd ask about unicorns. Humans love those pretty unicorns. Ooh, look at me with my beautiful flowing mane and my shiny horn. Sorry I asked. Rainbow hopping jerks think they're better than everybody just because they get to live in Unitopia. It's like, dude, you're just a fancy pony. What's that noise? It's a message from Choop. I haven't heard from him in weeks. The Chupacabra? What does it say? (sighs) Uh, it says, get out. Before it's too late. But... What was that? It's the creep! Run! Run! Come on! on. Uh, Here, uh, here, out the back, man. Let's go, let's go. Go, go! Uh, Oh, it's still coming. uh, What do we do? I'll use my Sasquatchian skills to hide us in the woods. Here, hold on tight. What are you doing? Just, uh... Just throwing you up to that tree. (laughs) Oh, uh, right. Humans can't fly. My bad. I'm okay. Why don't you and I just climb up? Okay. Oh, twigs. Come on, someone's got to burn these trees. Ow. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, we... We should be safe up here, I think. What is that thing? 
I tried to tell you. That's who's been kidnapping my friends. It always appears different. We call it the Creep. How did it find you? Hold on. Looks like the cops are scaring it away. Hey, Beef, where are you going? Uh, I can't be seen by the Popo. One time somebody took my picture, it was all blurry and far away, but humans have been hunting for me ever since. They're gone. Beef, come back with us to my house. You can't keep Bigfoot in your basement. Why not? Because he's Bigfoot. What would your dad say? Well, we can't leave him. Sure you can. Just take your tiny feet, climb down this tree, and skedaddle. It's not safe, Beef. What if the creep comes back for you? What if it's just waiting out there to get you alone? You know, with its sharp teeth and long claws and- Oh, uh, that's an excellent point. <sighs> At least let me get my pillow. The weirdness. Easy on the stairs, Beef. You're gonna break right through. Uh, yeah, not my fault you didn't build them for size 67 shoes. So this is where the magic happens, huh? Where do you keep the wolf? There's no wolf. It's just a sound effect. Here, press any of these buttons. Welcome to the... Welcome to the weirdness. Oh, dope. Let's see what this one does. Welcome to Listen, the... Beef. Hey, how do we find your friend, Choop? Arlo, have you lost your mind? Beef brought that recording to us for a reason. We're just kids. How are we going to face off with a big, scary monster? Hey! I'm right here, dude. I mean the creep, not you. And stop with the sound effects. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Look, um, yeah, this isn't your fight, humans. I'll just, uh, find a nice cave and go back into hiding for the next 500 years or so. And what about your friends? You'd make sure they don't eat us, right, Beef? <sighs> they don't eat people. Well, actually, some of them do. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, if they're really hungry and the people are super slow. What do you say, Beef? Should we do this? Save the weirds? No, we should not do this. Definitely not. But I guess we could try. How? I mean, it's not like we can just go to Mexico to visit the Chupacabra. Well, I suppose I could call my friend Peg to come pick us up. Peg? Be right back. Excuse me a sec, humans. Are you sure we can trust him? He seems harmless for an eight-foot Sasquatch. But, Sierra, don't you know what this means? I need to tell my mom I'm sleeping at Charlotte's house. If the weirdness is real, then maybe there was something weird with what happened to your dad. We might actually be able to find him. Arlo. All right, uh, Peg's on her way. She'll help us get to Mexico to see Choop. How? Whoa, what's that? It's coming from the roof. That would be Peg. Is Peg... Santa? Come on, I'll introduce you. Hope you don't mind her scuffing up your shingles a bit. Hard to find a good landing pad in the burbs. Something you guys should work on, probably. Arlo, look! Up there! Is that a horse? Yeah, with wings. Hold on, Beef. Your friend Peg is... is a Pegasus? Yeah, met her on Weird Book too. Flies like the wind. Hey, Peg! Think you can flap down onto the lawn here so we can hop on? Hang on. We are not. Oh, yes, we are. I'm going inside to get my recording stuff. Save me a seat. What? Oh, uh, sorry, Sierra. <laughs> Didn't mean to exclude you. It's okay. It's just... Wait, is Peg your girlfriend? Ooh, uh-oh. Uh, huh. busted on the, uh, lovey-dovey talk, huh? Wait a second. How did I know that? I could swear I heard you call her Sugar Wings. Is that crazy? Well, it's, uh, definitely unusual. Sierra, you speak weird? Huh? No, of course not. The sure sounded like you did. What? Could you be a weird? No, I I'm a person. I mean, I... Uh... Okay, I've got my recorder. Let me just lock up and then we can fly. Please, Beef, don't say anything. But if you're weird and then- I'm not. I'm human, just like Arlo. What did you say? Nothing. Are we going to Mexico or what? 
Now you're talking. Come on, dude. Peg says hop on. <laughs> Sierra? <sighs> All right. <sighs> All right, Peg. Vamanos to Mexico and other things in Spanish that I definitely know. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo!